Hi everyone. Um, since I last posted my uh, how to spot a fake monogram Louis Vuitton item, uh, I've received quite a few uh, inbox messages regarding um, other items on eBay if I could spot them for them. I, t I always tell people, if it comes with the box, look at the box. The box has tons of tells whether or not it's going to be fake or not. But uh, that only really helps if it does come with the box. I only suggest buying something if it does come with the box. Um, so we have two boxes here. Um, one is fake and one is real. Uh, the one on the left, this one right here, is uh, the box from my Louis Vuitton Florin wallet. And this one um, is actually just a... Uh, I got the other day because I'm using this wallet uh, for other video purposes. I got this off, uh, actually I bought this off eBay. Um, I knew it was fake when I was buying it, I just needed a fake wallet to use uh, for demonstration purposes. Um, so it'll be uh, in another video. So one thing you should always look at is the, uh, the letterhead on the top here. When you look at it, it, it shouldn't be raised, it should actually be kind of etched in a bit. You could probably see it, uh, the detail that way. Here they have it, except the uh, the text is a little off. I think it's a slightly different font, and uh, it's not all even, like it was kind of stamped in by hand. That's one thing to look at. Another thing... Um, is the pull tab on the end. Uh, this one isn't bad, it's actually real leather this time. And this is the fake box, I mind you. This one is real. On the actual pull tab, it's, it's a fairly, fairly thick piece of leather. It, uh, it doesn't feel flimsy at all, like when you push on it, it, it pretty much springs back because it is real leather, it does stay in one spot. This is the fake one. And it's, uh, it's it's really 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 thin. It's uh it's soft, but it, like it's it's not the authentic one. Um, so that's one thing to look at the pull tab, as well as the letterhead. Um, the uh, design of the box as well. Uh, so this is the real box. I'll go over this really slowly so you can see everything. Like the outer uh, the outer paper was laid on really really well, not just slapped on. There aren't any wrinkles or anything. If I can freehand, I'll be able to show you the inside as well. See so if you look inside. It's all tucked in nicely in the corners. Nothing looks too out of place. So you can see all the paper overlaps. And it gets a little, uh, a little wrinkly. That's where you can really start to tell. See all in the corners, like right in there. You can see how the paper doesn't come fully flush to the corner. That's that's another good tell right there, uh, if you have the box. Um, another thing, let me just move this closer to the light so I'll be able to show you. It's uh, coloration. So looking at there's this is slightly lighter than this. And the, uh, the texture of this box is uh, a little more coarse. You can probably actually still see the detail where it looks nice and smooth and flush. And this one's a little more uh, grainy. It's actually just the paper that was used. It's, uh, it's, it's unauthentic. Um, the color of an authentic Louis Vuitton box should be like milk chocolate, like a Cadbury milk chocolate bar, always compare it to that. So if you see that, that's in good light, and you go over, it's a little darker, like, I guess, like dark chocolate, that's, uh, this is what you want to be looking for. As well as the, uh, inside of the box can be a separate color as well. So let me just try to get both of them. I'll You can immediately see the difference. This one is, um, I guess, a little more of a pastel color, and this is uh, a lot brighter. So there's another difference you should look at. 
Um, other than that, like just the uh, the contents of the box usually do uh, do really uh, make a difference to let you know what you have. I'll open this up. When you buy a fake st something or other, like they always throw in a, a ton of crap that like a wallet will never really have in it. Um, I still have all the original pieces. This was just the uh, the leather binding that they used to tie the box closed with. My dust bag. And to prove that's authentic, it's uh, my receipt with the uh, all originals. So, if you're watching that, I uh, appreciate the wallet there. When you buy a fake one, you'll get a ton of little. Uh, of little knickknacks and like pull outs like little cards saying this is an authentic Louis Vuitton wallet um, little booklet saying if you have any problems like I never personally I never received any of those little pieces of crap in this um, the only thing it came with was the receipt the wallet and the dust bag if you get a fake one it'll have like styrofoam inside uh, just to stop it from bouncing around from shipping I, I'm more than certain it's not going to come with that so, just to wrap things up, we'll uh, go over the differences once again, if you just wanted to fast forward to the end. Um, so we're looking at uh, letterhead across, it should be um, like almost uh, pressed in, not just uh, laid on top. It should all be straight and it should look like, it, it should, you should tell, like this looks like a good letterhead, it's straight, it looks decent. This is a little darker and it's, some of the letters look a little off, it's, if it looks off it's probably because it is. Um, the pull tab on the side of the box should be uh, a good good piece of leather. It should be firm. It shouldn't be all flimsy, like like this. Coloration of both outside of box, so um, milk chocolate to dark chocolate. The get my hands free here inside the box so more of a yellow so it should be the fake one is uh, more yellow than I guess like a, an eggshell that's what you want to look for you want eggshell not yellow and then construction of the all box if it looks like this is this is real it looks like a good box because it is it's everything lines up properly this looks like it was slapped together for a kids art project because it was all glued in haste you can see all the seams where things don't line up properly that's what you're going to be looking for and then as well as the inside when things don't start meeting in the corner properly and they're all cut off onto the other side and they don't run flush that's, that's when you know it's fake so hopefully that helps out uh, a few more people if uh, they're taking into consideration uh, buying a Louis Vuitton item and they don't want to get ripped off um, I hope I uh, did a good job here I hope uh, someone's going to get an authentic item and I hope it's going to make them happy so once again, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to uh, private message me. Um, I get back a lot quicker instead of commenting because it just takes too long. So uh, private message me and uh, I'll usually get back to you in uh, a day or so. All right. so uh, thanks for watching, guys.